Hello there and welcome to the Bearded Peacock, it's my channel where we talk all things Leeds United, how's everybody doing? No football, no Leeds United football to get our teeth into until December now, after Christmas. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, you know, but today it's another introducing video. It is introducing Matteo Joseph who made his debut for Leeds United in the defeat to Spurs. So, Matteo Joseph, bit of an interesting character, was born in Santander in Spain on the 19th of October 2003. He'll be 20 next year. Started his football career in the Santander youth team before making his move to Espanyol where he signed, I think, when he was about 13, uh, or there about that sort of age. And he absolutely lit it up, didn't he, for their under-19 team. I think it was it, 14 goals in in um, in their league, I think, for, uh, for them. And he was, yeah, at the age group he was playing there is unbelievable. I know the... the likened him to Sergio Aguero, such a, a talent, um, obviously little bit of interest um, from, you know, an English perspective because his dad is actually English. He signed for Leeds in January of this year, at the very start of the year, uh, was our only... He was our only transfer in the January transfer window. I know Leeds like to big up the academy nowadays and why not? Obviously, they had the academy dreams as well. He spoke on that. He said, Leeds United, obviously Barcelona were in for him as well. He said, Leeds United knew me better than my family did. He said he, he watched PowerPoints on himself. He was very impressed with the research that they'd done on himself. And then he chose to sign for Leeds United. He can actually... Um, he's actually on the edge of an England under-20 call-up due to, like I said, his dad being English, his mum's Spanish. So, yeah, you know, can we see him be playing for England in the future? Let's wait and see. Such a talent and, and quite an exciting prospect, obviously, for teams like Barcelona to be after him. Obviously, he was in Barcelona with Espanyol, but for them to be in for him, he's, he's got to be some player, even at at youth league level and we can see that he scored so many goals he scored in the friendly game um in early july against blackpool in york i think it was wasn't it he got the last of the four goals on that day and we knew then and you thought is mateo is he gonna get a chance in the first team obviously with bamford injuries with the, the way that jesse marsh likes to bring the youth on Will he get a chance? He was getting spoken about in the press conferences. One is a potential uh, goer for the first team. He kept smashing in the goals. That particular picture, I think, is from a um, um, a, a day when he got a hat trick for the under under twenty threes against Middlesbrough. I think it was. He's he's kept scoring goals, and then he got his chance. Obviously, with Bamford being injury injury prone, like I said, he he's getting his chance. We do, we do need a striker in the window, in the winter window, but Joseph gets his chance. There he is, uh, you know, on the left side of the picture there. When Somerville hit that last, w that late winner, he's there celebrating with the team. Didn't get a minute there, but he did get minutes. He got his first start for Leeds United in the Carabao Cup last Wednesday against Wolves, and he got the full 90 minutes, I think, didn't he? He got most of the game. If he didn't get 90 minutes, let me know in the comments. I can't quite remember, but he impressed me. You know, he was he was good. He, I think there was a moment in the in the in the second half where he could have potentially had a shot on, maybe got a goal in, but he decided maybe to just take a bit too long on it and take a touch, I think, on his left foot, wasn't it? And he probably should have taken it on his right foot. But, you know, he's only 19, isn't he? He will learn, but he got his chance in that game obviously we went down 1-0 and are out of the competition a bit of a shame really because it probably curtails you know the the younger lads involvement in the premier in the in the first team or does it because then joseph gets on the bench again in the weekend and he gets on for his premier league debut 
at Spurs at the weekend. Obviously a disappointing collapse in the end for Leeds. I think Joseph comes on when it's actually 4-3 to Spurs in the last minute. I think he just got a minute, didn't he, uh, at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium on Saturday. But it would have meant the world to him. That It's something for him to build on. And, and they rate him very highly, I know, that at the Leeds Academy. And I think he'll continue to bang in the goals for the academy and get the odd appearance on the on the off the bench perhaps for the first team. But I know that we will be looking to strengthen strengthen in, in the summer for a striker. But let me know, would you like to see more of Joseph in a Leeds United shirt in the first team? Because he's clearly a talent. Maybe like I said, we might see him line up for England in the future. Let's wait and see. But you know, we're quite excited about this one personally, I am. Uh, we've got some good young players coming through, but he's the second um, in my introducing series, it is m introducing Matteo Joseph. March on together.